Hi everyone and welcome to another update video. I am Birdie and today I'm going to be doing the new Night Dust quest that we just got. Yay! Yay! Okay, first I gotta change to my Night Dust. I originally named Black like Bolt Night Dust for Madison to look at and ride whenever she wanted to. But no, I didn't know which direction this quest was going to take. Okay, so I put my test out taking pictures of all my horses. Now I just gotta grab night dust from the paddock. With over a hundred other horses. It's a very big paddock, okay. Oh right, there he is. He's one of the very few horses that loads immediately, which is cute. The other one that does that is Goldie. Alright, night dust. Let's get going. Now where do I have to meet them? I mean I know that Night Dust is probably not even going to be used, at least my Night Dust in these quests because it'll probably take place largely in Yorvik City. Okay, this is taking a long time to load. What is going on? I hope I'm not about to head for Crash City. Because that would just ruin everything. Come on, how long does it take to exit your next table? There we go. Alright, now. I have to meet them in Pure 13. Alright, Dark. Right, um, we're coming. I think there's a bus stop right here. How long will I have to wait for the bus? Oh, it's here already. Then quickly! Just stay there, Night Dust. It'll be fine. No, 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 don't go away. No, come back. Come back, bus. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. <laughs> She caught the bus. Maybe I too can catch the bus. No, come back. Alright, fine. Guess I'll have to go to Fort Pinter then. Okay, that was very amusing. <laughs> I was right panicking. Oh no, I missed the bus. Okay, let's just go get in the trailer. <laughs> and if this is the end of this quest line, then that'll be another quest line that Star Stable is finished. I'm so proud of them. Okay, now. Oh, uh, yes, if I'm quick, I'll miss it. I just have to quickly run away so that the music doesn't start playing, it ruined everything. And probably always a bit of that fear of all the Star Stable YouTubers out there when Star Stable adds in like actual music that can get them copyright claimed. Come on, there we go. Alright, now the bus should be here. Or it's not here now, it should be here soon. Two minutes. One minute. Okay. One of these days I'm gonna do a race the bus thing to see if it does take three minutes for the bus to get from Fort Pinter to Dandel. And I'm gonna see if I can beat the bus there. That would be cool. I mean like, if it does take three minutes to get from Fort Pinter to bus stop to Dandel bus stop, that would be really neat actually. Although that does beg the question, where does the three minutes from Dundal to Fort Pinto go? Hmm. Well, all of these questions that will probably not be answered, because if you ask them, Star Stable will yell, oh spoilers. 
Because that's probably just her default answer when I don't know. But that's okay, they can have their secrets. It takes a while for the bus to come. Is it coming down the road yet? No. Oh, here it is now. I must well thought first open I was like, oh maybe we can travel from Mistwell to Yorvik City without needing to catch the bus. We can just ride there. But no, that isn't reality just yet. Hoping that it comes reality soon though. Alright, now we've got a pier 13. Oh, this is exciting. I'm looking forward to it. I really hope that when I come to edit this video you can't hear the washing machine going in the background. <laughs> Alright. Hello, Eric. Louisa. You have no idea how relieved I am to see you. We have a problem. A big problem. I don't know what to do. I should call Holly? Or should I? Oh yeah, I should, shouldn't I? But what do I say to her? What is there to say? We don't have time to start panicking. Just calm down, Eric. Breathe. What am I saying? Madison is gone. Time to start panicking. Yes, you should panic when your daughter goes missing. Again. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to what your daughter is doing. Hmm? You're right, Louisa. I need to focus. Breathe. Take a deep breath. Oh, it's exactly what I just said. Sigh. Take it easy now, Eric. Breathe. Panicking isn't going to help. I'm sorry, Louisa. I'll try to explain. I just don't know where to start. When Madison went missing, I was sure she'd set off to free night and dust, so I caught the train down to the harbour. When I didn't find any traces of her being here, I was relieved. I hoped that she'd just, well, gone somewhere else. You encourage Derek to continue. I was just about to catch the train back to Governor's Fall when I saw something out of the corner of my eye. It was Madison. I saw her on the other side of the fence, sneaking into the warehouse. I tried to call out to her, but I don't think she heard me. Louisa, what should I do? We need to do something. No, it's... We both know she wants to save Nightus, but those men are dangerous. Yeah, they are. They've also brought in more guns since last time we were here. I've got a bad feeling in my stomach about this. We've got to get inside and find Madison before the guards spot her. I don't even want to think about what that Mr. Arnway fellow would do if we found her. If only we could find a way to get inside the building. Louisa, would you help me? If we help each other, maybe we can find a way in? No, it's... Thank you. It feels good having you here. Alright, we've got no time to lose. We should start taking a look around. If Madison found a way in, there should be a way in for us, too. But Madison's a lot smaller than we are, Eric. Okay... I'm sure that's normal. Doesn't seem to be a way in here. broken bit of ground. That's ominous. Doesn't seem to be a way in here. I mean, unless you're really good at parkour. But would not recommend. Doesn't seem to be a way in here. Hmm? What are you doing over there, Eric? What's that cage? Oh no. Something's going down. There is Mr. Cray Cray, he's still here. We still haven't found a use for your... There's a lot of indicators here. That's odd. Eric, I hope you don't mind I'm just going to look in the cages. I'm looking for Concord. That's still a very important thing. Hmm. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Unless this is the thing that Idris was talking about with the, um... You can't see the things inside the cages because you're not ready yet or something. Hmm. This is very strange. Alright Eric, I'm done looking at the cages now. What do you want? Yes, I know. We don't have much time. You didn't find a way in either? Hey Madison, why did you have to run away? Are you absolutely sure you didn't find a way in, Louisa? This is harder than I thought it would be. If there's no way in, we've got to get rid of the guards somehow. 
But how? It'll be impossible without distracting them. Hmm, what kind of distraction are we going to create this time, I wonder? Wait, there we have it. We need to come up with a distraction to seal their attention. Hmm, but what could that be? Thanks. Um, as much as I like your imagination, I'm not sure it'll help us past all those guards. Louisa, you've already risked a lot, so you don't have to do this. But let me take care of the distraction this time. I think you have a better chance of getting in and out of the warehouse with Madison. Think you can do it? Not. Thank you. I'm not sure for how long I'll be able to hold those guards' attention. Alright, let's do this. Are you ready? Yep. Freddy Freddy, as they say. What's he gonna do? Yes, mew like a cat. And the gates are open. For a second there I thought it was saying to go up those stairs. I don't know why I thought that would work. <laughs> okay, that was a little silly. Okay, now we gotta go through all of this again. Aggressive clicking. Okay, go the other way. Don't follow Eric this time, you fool. Anyway, I remember the first time, well, the last time the Night Bus Quest updated anyway. Or was it the time before that? The last time we went into the lab anyway. I remember a lot of YouTubers got confused, like, they started <laughs> running up the stairs. And I was like, no, you just go over those fuckers on the door, see? How am I supposed to get in then? Am I supposed to hide? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Never mind, I'm stupid. <laughs> so you just gotta creep past that guard. Okay. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> okay, so run around here. Open the gates and inside. Quickly before that guard sees quick 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 what are you doing here? There are zillions of guards everywhere. Have you come to help me save Night Dust? Yes. I knew it. Come on, Louisa. Let's save Night Dust and all the other horses. Um, what? Are you on Dad's side or something? I'm not leaving this building without Night Dust. Did the Knights of Unistria abandon their crystal unicorns when the sorcerer Neiman banished them to the Obsidian Realm? Of course they didn't. Sweetie, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> and I know you'd do anything to protect Night Dust. Besides Louisa, I, Commander Madison, have a plan. A master plan. Tee hee. Oh yeah? Okay, Agent Louisa. Welcome to Operation Night Dust. The first thing we need to do is to make sure the little spies are asleep, because that's what the mother brain needs. That sounds cool, doesn't it? Asleep? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Louisa, don't you watch secret agent movies? There's always a code word for everything. The little spies are all the surveillance cameras, and the mother brain is the control room, the room where everything is controlled. Uh, 
Agent Louisa, our first stop is the mother brain, or the control room. Psst. Hold on a second, Agent. Can you see those red lights on some of the cameras? I think those lights mean they can see us. So when the red light is off, we should be able to pass by unseen, like actual ninjas. Think you can handle it, Agent? I'm pretty sure real security cameras don't have red lights on them like that, but okay. <laughs> okay, so... Um... Oh my god, this reminds me of the first Starshine Legacy game. <laughs> That was noises. Where's the control room? I'm sure it's storage. Um, Madison, I don't know where I'm going. Oh. At least it says P13 now, not the... Dark call error rig like it said before. At least on one of my else it said that. That was a strange and curious bug. It's not this door, is it? Dang it. Hmm. Where is it? No, uh oh. Oops. Dang it. Minus and I have no idea where to go. <laughs> I've got to say, these night dust quests are pretty tricky. Okay, so I do go down here. Oops. I just want to pick this child up and carry her away. And all of the other horses. Okay, try this again. Which way do I go? Let's try the opposite way to the way I went last time. Hmm. Hmm. Is this where I was supposed to go? Seriously? What's that pink thing? For a second there I thought it was a waypoint and then I realised this isn't Minecraft, you silly girl. It's just paint. Hmm. I didn't know you could go in these rooms now. Interesting. Ooh dear. Please don't turn on. And where's this control room that Madison was talking about? Hmm. Or maybe I need to go in all the doors? Run, 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 run. Ah. Run, 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 don't keep me waiting. What is this just storage? I know it says I'm on the door, but I was expecting something different. It's an evil lair for. Why would the storage just be storage? Hmm, these chemicals look a bit suspicious. What does that say? Danger. Oh, well, so I was going to say something interesting. Anyway. Um. 
Um, now which way? I need to get to the control room, but I don't know which room that is. Is it up here? Ooh, lots of cameras here. Maybe this is it. Or maybe not. Could be wrong. Yes, we made it. That's the lab, not the control room. Woohoo! Great work, Agent Louisa. It seems like we both made it here on scene. Now all we have to do is get inside and turn off the mother brain once and for all. Just you wait, Madam Mother Brain. Nothing's going to stop Commander Madison and Agent Louisa on their secret mission. Haha, <laughs> Gmo, time to pick that lock that's keeping us away from the Mother Brain. Okay. Um, do I have to use something? Oops. Oh, yeah, gotta use a Gmo device. Use a Gmo to crack the password. You will see an arrow on the Gmo screen. If the arrow is green, you click on the same Gmo control button that the arrow was pointing to. If the arrow is pointing to the right, you click on the right control button. However, if the arrow on the screen is red, you click on the opposite button. That is, if the arrow on the screen is pointing up, you click on the control button pointing down. Relax and make sure you get it right when you click. Good luck. Okay. Was it actually going to do it this time? Yes. It didn't do it last time. And I was wondering, oh, are they ever going to use that red one that they were talking about before? And they did. I like the music in this. <laughs> the door is still locked. Curious. The security device appears to be color-coded. You can see the colors. Blue, purple, yellow, and green. Louisa, what are you waiting for? Shake's head. What? It's not working. Whatever, whatever. Look at that, my phone is a small number. I'm going confuse them with sounds. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I cut it out, man. Your singing is terrible. You don't even know the lyrics. Why is it lucky if your ponies are small? Of course they're small. They're ponies. Hmm. I wonder if the colours have something to do with those numbers I saw in the control room. Psst. Louisa, did you hear that? So the yellow was the fourth one. Louisa, it sounds like someone's coming. We need to hide. I'm super good at hiding, but I don't know where we could hide around here. In one of the storage rooms? Or here? Psst, Louisa, can you say anything? I can't hear the steps anymore. Huh? Oh. Did you hear that? <laughs> hear what, doofus? Like a bird or something? Pfft. Go fetch that paperwork you left in the control room. The meeting's about to start, and you know what the bus it's like when people arrive late. Uh, heh uh, <laughs> about that. What? Do you remember the code? No. You're the one who came up with the code. That thing about each colour representing a number, I'm not sure I agree that makes it any easier. Typical. I can't remember if yellow was number three, or was it blue that had that number? It's blue then. Think we've got time to swing by the storage rooms before the meeting? The storage rooms. Why would we go there? There's only junk in there. Eh hey, well, I... I forget things easily. And Mr. Armway told me not to write the code down on a piece of paper. That's why I made a colour key to remind me. There are numbers painted on the walls in the storage rooms, so I use those. That way, I know which colour goes with each number. See? That sounds way more complicated than it ought to be. My memory isn't always reliable, but my walls don't lie. The numbers <laughs> on them are correct. <laughs> this guy likes Shakira. I usually take the opportunity to walk past the storage rooms in the morning to remind myself of the code. Words cannot describe the level of idiocy of that brain of yours. <laughs> Come on, you'll have to manage without your paperwork. We need to get to that meeting. Okay. So, the first one is yellow. I don't know what the second one is. Blue must be third, and the fourth one is... No, one is pink. Purple, whatever. <laughs> the waypoint, I thought I saw. <laughs> Did you hear that, Louisa? Agent, it seems like we have the solution to infiltrating the mother brain. What we need to do is visit the different storage rooms and find the number that's supposedly painted on the wall. What we should do is write down the number that goes with each colour. If we do that, we can come back here and enter the code. Oh. Alright. I 
have an up here that I can write down the number on. Please don't turn on when I'm running past you. Thank you. Is this the waypoint one? <laughs> no, this is two. Hooray, we're a great team. That's a green number two, which means the last digit of the code is two. What? What? Alright. I have a notebook here. I'm going to write it down. So, something, 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 two. Maybe I'll start to write down. Two equals green. Oh no. That's not a room that I can go in. Let's go up here. That's also not a room that I can go in. Don't turn on, don't turn on, don't turn on. I just went in that room. Don't turn on, don't turn on, don't turn on. And that's where I came in. Damn it. Okay, so this bit up here is tricky. By the way, this isn't the way security cameras work in real life. They don't have a red light just beaming out of them. They have a like, little red light on the top of them. That was so close. <laughs> that was so close. What? Okay. Three is blue. Hey, hey. Okay, so blue is three. That means the first number of the code is three. Hmm? I don't know how that, but okay. I also don't know how I got in here. That was a weird little bug. Helpful though. And now I don't know where I am. Okay, that is not the way. That meme's old. Two sparkly doors. In, 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 in. There we go. Here is number four. We found a number, so the second number of code is yellow, and we now know that yellow means number four. Okay. So the last number must be one, but I have to find that room, I guess. The waypoint. Let me in. Purple equals number one. Can you remember that? Yeah. Oh, um, yellow, four? Yes. Four equals yellow. And one equals purple. Waypoint. <laughs> Command calling Agent Louisa. Do you copy? I think we have what we need to get inside the mother brain. Blue is number three. 
Purple is number one. Yellow is number four. Green is number two. Yep, got that all written down. If I remember this correct, it must mean that the code for the control room should be 3142. Can you remember that? But it just said, ugh, never mind. 3142. There, now I've written it down. Sweet, I'll meet you outside the mother ring. Haha, we're unstoppable. Oh, now I have to get back there. Away from the waypoint. <laughs> it just looks like a waypoint. Okay. That's the way I came in. <laughs> don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Run! No, that's not it. Is it? Hmm. Wish we had a map for in here, but that would probably make things too easy. This isn't it easy. Either is it? No. Oh my gosh. That's a dead end and a security camera. Oh gee. Oh gee. Oh gee. Ah. Alright, well. I'm still not sure which way to go. I think it's up here. No. Surrounded by red. Should I wait for it to come on or risk it? Risk it, I'm impatient. Come on. Mm. It's almost like a Dodgy Young 64 game where you have to sneak real carefully and don't get caught by the flashlight. I just probably made that sound like a completely different word. Torch, whatever. The beam of light. Impatiently running, I'm probably going to get caught. Okay, so... It's almost like a red light, green light game. Red light. Green light. Green light. No, this isn't it. Red light, red light. And I don't think it's up that way, is it? Hmm. I am really bad at remembering directions. Red light. Green light. Ah, oh, that's a trap. Uh, run. And whenever I get caught, I'm just going to be sent back to the start. Is it around here? Hmm. Lots of lights here, so you'd think so. Or is it just another trap? Unless that bread pipe meaning, I don't know, maybe heat? I don't know what pipe colours mean. Here we go, finally. Enter your code for access. Okay. Oh, it's colour coded. That's very nice. Three, one, four, two. Click. The door is open. Alright, Madison. Woohoo! We solved the puzzle. Do you know what this reminds me of? Those cool people who visit old places, like tombs and stuff. But first I need to get past all types of traps. See, anyway, come on Louisa. We must be able to find something in here that'll stop the mother rain without those guard meanies realise something's up.
Nothing of interest except some old books. Whoa. A USB with old surveillance videos on it? That's clever, Louisa. Tiki, to be honest, all I could come up with was that we could simply turn off the cameras. That would have been a good idea. But that's an even better idea. Come on, Louisa. If we swap the USB stick so that the screens in here show yesterday's recordings, it'll be as good as invisible. Haha, <laughs> all without even switching off the cameras. Well, good as invisible until they figure it out. Oh dear. Somehow I have a bad feeling about this. Do I have the USB in my inventory? Yes, I do. No. What? Another code? Louisa, this feels quite familiar. I wonder if we can solve this puzzle the same way we did the last one. Hey, it looks like the colours have been moved around for this code. Green, yellow, blue and purple. Do you remember which colour represented which number? Yep, I wrote it down. So... Two... Four... Three... One. By the way, don't worry about that loud pub if you heard it, it's just the fireplace. Yes, there are often no more sneaking around. Now I'm just gonna get lost. Aha! The mother brain and the little spies are out. Agent Louisa, nothing can stop the two of us. We're the best, am I right? Come on, Louisa, no time to lose. Operation Night Dust has just entered phase three. Jailbreak! Ooh. Why do I feel like everything's about to go to heck in a handbasket? Horses! Ooh, they've been updated to new models. I'm gonna run over and look at them. Be back in a sec, Madison. So now, in addition to the Welsh ponies, they have a Connemara, another Connemara, a North Swedish. Precious, precious, precious night dust. Um, that Mustang. This cage is empty. I bet it's Concord's cage. Welsh Pony. And a Lusitano. Of course there's a Lusitano. Why wouldn't there be a Lusitano? It's good that they're all new horses. Wait, can I pretend that any of them are my horse? Uh, I can pretend that's chance time. And I don't have any of the little horses. Oh yeah, Chance Time Moon Dancer. And, which I will be getting in a few days, next time there's a double star coins or special star coins offer anyway. Weiss and Ruby. And also Sunny Spark. And the one that nobody can get yet. Oh you poor thing. <laughs> the bar is going through your nose. He's just a punk. I'm glad you're with me, Louisa. I wouldn't have liked being back here again alone. But nothing is going to stop us, Louisa. Not now that we've made it this far. Come on, let's free Night Dust and the other horses. Teehee, I feel like a real soldier on a secret mission. I watched a movie like that once with Dad. The soldiers in the film did just what we did. Turned off the cameras and snuck past the guards to rescue their friends. Just like you and I are doing. Teehee, those meanies don't stand a chance against us, do they, Louisa? You and I can do anything together, right? Now let's just open those cages and set the horses free. Yes, I'm sure it's going to be that simple. Madison, Louisa. Oh no. Eric. Man, phew. Well, hold on. I need to catch my breath. Dad. Madison, Louisa. I need to leave right now. No, I won't do it. I will not leave Night Dust again. Lana, Madison, I don't know when those men are coming back, but I do know something's about to happen. This is not a safe place. Hmm? Louisa, after you made it inside the building, I tried to find a way in there after you. That's when I saw it. A big ship sailing into the harbour. The ship was full of empty cages, and that fellow Mr. Arnery was on it. I think they're planning to move the horses. Yeah, that's what he said before. We need to escape. I don't know if we stand a chance against Mr. Unwe and all the guards if they find us here. I've called Holly. She and Jonas are on their way, but they won't make it here on time. The best we can hope for is to make it out of this building. I'm not saying we should give up on night dust, but we need to be rational here. <laughs> no, no, no! Sob. Dad, they can't take night dust. We have to save them. It's now or never. Louisa agrees with me. Right, Louisa? Mm. Nods. So, so, so to, to I don't like this one bit, but if you think we could make it, Louisa, okay. 
All right then, let's go. We can't be hanging around here. We don't. We need to hurry. Here, Louisa, take this crowbar and let's start opening those cages. If we're lucky, the horses might help us distract those people until Holly and Jonas get here. To be honest, at first I thought Delusitana in the cage was the <laughs> um, big golden Yorvik wild. <laughs> Which makes no sense whatsoever. Why would not we have a Yorvik wild? The crowbar does not have a description. Would the description be with a decent crowbar you can whack the world? <laughs> there you go, Moon Dancer. Go back to my stable now, please. Rescuing mice just like in the show. There you go, Weiss. You can go to my stable. Hopefully this weekend. Yeah, crib up. There is also it. There you go, Sunny Spark. You can go back to my stable now, please. There you go. Right. There you go, Lucy Tano. Be free. I will buy you someday. Probably gonna call you caramel something, or maybe golden something after that mistake I made. Oh no, no, it's mining or something. Anyway, Eric? What was that? Louisa, can you hear that? It sounds like footsteps. I know. This is bad. We have to try and get out of here. No. We can't leave yet. I can't open Night Dust's cage. We have to rescue him, Dad. Easy boy, we'll get you out. Night Dust? I don't know, it looks like he's given up. Oh, poor baby. No, Madison, I'm sorry, but we have to leave. We need to make sure all the other horses get out of here. I promise I won't rest until Night Dust is free, even if it means I have to chase Mr. Anwi to the ends of the earth. Louisa, could you help me gather the horses so that we can get them out of here? Perhaps we could re escape via the roof? So, What's that, Louisa? You want me to go ahead, alone with the horses? Ah. Nods. No, Louisa, no. I can't leave Madison here by herself. She's not by herself, she has me. Daddy, I'm not alone. I've got both Louisa and Night Dust here with me. Nods. Dad, don't worry. Louisa is super talented. She'll open up Night Dust's cage in no time. We'll be right behind you. Mmm, I don't like this one bit. You're right though, Louisa. I'll go ahead and make sure the horses get out of here. Footsteps. Dad, I'm sorry I didn't always believe what you said. I want you to know that I'm very proud of you. Be careful, please. I love you. Eric, get out of here. Milton speeches can wait. And Louisa, you'll take good care of my daughter, won't you? I trust you. Eric, hurry up. Pop, 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 pop. Louisa, there's something wrong with Night Dust. He's not reacting. I'm trying to talk to him, but he's just staring at the wall. We need to open his cage. Now, now, now. Don't worry, I'm on it. Come on, Night Dust. It's all right, sweetie. I know you've been through a horrible ordeal, but it'll be all right, I promise. Yeah, Hooray! You did it, Louisa. Night dust. I how I've missed you. Louisa and I are here to rescue you. Night dust. You're free. Come on, let's go. Night dust. Oh no. Louisa, why isn't night dust reacting? Poor baby. I'm just gonna react. <laughs> No, 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 with a normal horse. You go near the front. That's not where the sparkles are. Oh, God, sparkles, why? Oh, no. Night Dust? Mm -mm. Darn, I should have took, brought my rope with me. You know, the magic rope that I got from Rihanna? Anyway. Wait, so what's happened to him? He's... I don't recognize him. Night Dust? Please, Night Dust, listen to me. 
itself. It's me, Madison. Not just. What are you doing? Stop it. So, not just. What have I done to you? Please listen to me. Oh, now they're here. <laughs> Poor little girl. So your neurotic horse no longer listens to you, huh? Louisa, Louisa, Louisa. So you and that foolish little girl dared to come back here again. Haha. <laughs> I must admit, I underestimated you. Grr, Mr. Unweir. At least we'll set all the horses free. So there. Yes. Yes, I can see that. I shall have to deal with that later. Carl? Um, yes, Mr. Unweir? Make sure you send some of our men out on the pier to catch the horses that have run off. Would you? Of course. And Carl, one more thing. Yes, Mr. Arnwee? That man who's with the horses. Make sure he disappears. For good. I've had enough of the likes of him, sticking their noses where they don't belong. Haha, <laughs> certainly, Mr. Arnwee. Now then, as for you, what should I do with you? Grr, yes, what are you going to do? Louisa will defeat you, you jerk. No one can stop Louisa. Night dust to me when we are to get together. Right, Louisa? Oh. Nods. Well, I mean, I went to Bandoria, all right. Ha, if you say so, then I accept. Uh. The challenge. Hmm? I see you were having some problems with your horse here. Night dust, is it? Grr, we don't have any problems. Right, night dust? Snort. Nay. Snort. Ha, I suppose you're not familiar with the phrase mot mortis spiritus? Motu. Louisa, what is that? I don't know. Mortis Spiritus is the name of our project for creating a new horse breed. A super horse, with strength like no other, but with complete submission to its owner. Hee <laughs> hee. Unfortunately, the project was unsuccessful at first. Most of the horses we brought in did not respond well to the serum, one might say. At first, not even your old friend Night Dust seemed to respond to it. But that new serum, which you so kindly delivered to me, hee <laughs> hee, it worked better than I had expected. And now, behold this beauty. Of course it didn't work because we weren't using it on star breeds and I'm pretty sure that night dust is a star breed. <laughs> night dust? Please night dust, listen to me. <laughs> oh, hee <laughs> hee. I've been waiting to, I've been wanting to do this for so long. Hee <laughs> hee. Allow me to demonstrate what mortar spiritus can do to a horse like night dust. Oh no. In addition to night dust's muscle strength and speed having increased by 72%, he is fully voice controlled. Oh don't get excited, girly. He only listens to me. He's master. <laughs> Here you old nag. Snort. Show those foolish little girls what we do to meddling snoopers. Nay. <laughs> Night Dust? This is turning into a really dangerous situation. You need to try and calm Night Dust down before he attacks Madison. And how am I supposed to do that? Oh, hey, smack. Listen to Aideen, buddy. Oh, it worked. Huh? How is this possible? Night dust, attack them! It's not going to work because 18 calmed in down. Night dust, you remember us? You can fight that poison in your body. You're still in there. I know you are. You've already proven it. Snort. Nay. Snort. Night dust stares at you. It seems like he wants you to get up on his back. Mm -hmm. Come on, Louisa. Let's destroy this lab together with night dust. Okay. Ah, Night Dust, what are you doing? He does not want you on his back, only 18. Louisa, it seems like Night Dust isn't totally out of Mr. Anwi's control yet. We need to be careful. Hold on, Louisa, let's save Night Dust and destroy this lap. Yeah, riding bear back on a horse. <laughs> it's funny because. No, 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 no. Slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> I need to take a picture of this. Good boy. <laughs> Stop it. Where am I messing up the place? Obey me! 
Stupid horse. He just speeds up on his own. That's so cool. Hey, Brain Nag, listen to me. Wait, does he really speed up on his own? Yes! Oh my god! I'm not doing anything. Larime. Ah! <laughs> Look at how mad he is. The serum? Ah, ha 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 ha. Of course, seeing what three does can do to a horse's. Seeing what three doses can do to a horse's strength and speed. Imagine what it could do to me. Ha 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 ha. He's gonna die. Oh no. Although I've already seen this because Star State will put it on the thumbnail for the video, which stop doing that, Star Stable. Stop spoiling the quest in your videos. Louisa, what's he talking about? He was gonna do something stupid. Mwahaha ha ha ha. I can't believe I didn't see that the true power was in my hands all along. Oh, I haven't forgotten about you. He, he, he. Yeah. Louisa, this can't be good. Madison, Louisa, allow me to introduce an upgraded version of myself. He, he, he. I'll never let you walk away from here with those horses. Now he's all gone out. <laughs> Lisa? One moment, please. But the, <laughs> the cutscene, I can't miss the cutscene. <laughs> oh my god. Screenshot. 